why do fish swim in circles? Going in circles or creating these fish balls, <laughs> fish balls, sorry, super immature. Here I am in Hawaii having a blast at the conference and enjoying the great Hawaiian weather. Yeah. Anyways, the other day on Sunday, we went to Wanahoma Bay to snorkel. While doing so, we came across this very interesting phenomenon, or let's say fish, a very interesting group of fish, which were just going around in circles for a long, long time, as a long, at least a lo as long as we were there. Why is it that fish actually do that? I mean, this is a quite interesting behavior. So to understand why fish go in circles, we it's maybe also important to understand why fish actually group together in groups of fish. Many species of fish are known to group in what are called schools of fish, which is a group of individuals that moves uh, always in the same manner. They move in a very coordinate way, kind of a unit of many, many fish. So it's like a mega unit of many fish. Fish NATO. Why fish do this is not really clear, but there are many possible hypothe hypotheses for why they actually do this. It might be that it's just easier to find a mate if you're in a group, obviously. It might be easier to find food, or it might be a strategy against predation, because if you're in a big group, the probability that an individual fish is eaten is less than if this fish would just be swimming by itself. How, who leads this group of fish? Is there like a kingfish, a queenfish, or royal family fish? Actually, there's none of those. In fish world, in group, a uh, fish group world, every fish is king. So what this means is the movement of the group of the fish depends on individual decisions by each individual. And each individual does his, uh, takes these decisions independently of his environment and his neighbors. So they have to make decisions based on two rules. The first rule is keep a certain distance from your neighbor, but not too much and always keep swimming. Taking these two rules in consideration, well, in consideration they're fish, but as much as in consideration as a fish can take, they can create this group effect and this coordinated group effect because one neighbor looks at this one and the other to the other one and so it's kind of a net of small decisions based on the decision that the other one took based on the other that the decision of there are possible reasons for why fish actually go in circles in one place why the fish that we saw actually were doing this well we don't know one of the possibilities is because they just found a cool place with cool food and they just happen to want to stay in the same place so what better way than to go in circles which maybe they saw these big animals approaching us humans and were just scared and, and or thought we were predators or a threat and sometimes it's really hard to really say for sure why something happens in nature because there are so many unknowns but it's really interesting to speculate and to realize how things that look so simple are actually so complex such as group of fish which you would imagine well they're just fish they are just grouping and yeah that bah but no, it's actually a really complex system and very interesting to study and not totally and completely understood. If you like this video, like it and share it. And if you have any questions, suggestions or comments, write in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe and see you.